the short end of that one uh, with Alaria. Uh, the strategy at the end by Coach Burnett. Did yeah. you, would, would you have done the same thing? You know, I, I think when you're in a, in a dual meet event like this, they, they advance to wrestle another match, right? And so I think there's the, they have the um, kids could get hurt, right? Something could happen. And, and so I think when you're wrestling in, a, in just a straight dual meet, that's a little different. When you're in a dual meet event where you advance and you're going to wrestle for a state title, I get it. Listen, our kids came to wrestle. Of course, they wanted to wrestle, but I get their position. So when you look at that, you know, you, Eric, you and Eric are great friends. Yeah. But now that's who you're going to have to beat to, to you know, because March is, you know, March is right around the corner. Yeah. And yeah. that's the ultimate goal, right? Sure. When you look at the match at 32, you know, you come up on the, the, yeah. the good end of that one, and it's done with Matt Wrestling. Mm. Do you, what do you think that, is that something where you gave them something to look at, or is that something where you just want you got to win? Uh, well, you know, you're in a duel meeting at that point. I, I, you know, we, we were still in a position to win the duel, right? That was a huge match in terms of winning that duel. And so, yeah, we want our, our guy to win. In terms of showing him something, hey, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, um, we got to feel Nate. Nate got to feel Jimmy. Jimmy's pretty good on top. They knew it going in, right? Nate went down. He got a feel for how good Jimmy is on top. Okay, you know, they're two really good wrestlers. There's a pretty good chance they're going to wrestle again. Vic Voinovich bump it up. Yeah. Will he go back down to 45? Oh, yeah, yeah. He okay. waited at 45. Okay. You know, it was just uh, we felt like we were going to have to steal a win somewhere to beat O'Leary in a duel. Um, and, and credit to Victor for, for being okay with going up, right? So um, James Braunstraub, Victor Voinovich, we inserted Grant Coza against Mick, right? And it was almost child abuse. But those guys were like, hey, what, what does the team need, you know? When you look at the end of the day, what do you think your guys learned here? You know, I think O'Leary was more intense than us. I know that seems kind of cliche, um, but they, they brought a different level of intensity, I think, than we did. They wrestled a little better on the edge than we did. Um, and, and listen, they're just they're, 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 they're pretty dang good, you know? All right. What do you take out of this from here to March? What do you guys got to do? What do you change? What, anything? You know, I think each kid has their individual positions, little, little things. I mean, if you think about it, you know, um, there, there, was, there was probably four matches in that duel that could have went either way you know i mean at 13 we got a little freshman out there that's in double overtime with the defending state champ that match could go either way you know the the, the 52 match with Vornovich and enrique they give up two sets of near fall and ends up being an eight to six match that can go either way i mean i think even 60 the score was a little bit lopsided but uh, we almost scored like four times the dude crazy athlete and rolled through a couple things i mean at 70 it was two to one with 30 seconds to go right so there's four matches right there that could go either way in a dual meet that was whatever it was decided by four points yeah all right, you guys are heading back to Brexville? Yeah, you know, I, I'd really like to stay and watch, but I also want to get home and see my family, so, you know. <laughs> All right, thanks for the time. Good luck. Yeah. You got anything else for me? No, I'm good, man. All right, thanks. Coach, thanks.